Hey guys, and welcome back to another video by Beauty by Bridget. I'm Bridget, and you can find me here on YouTube, and also on Instagram at underscore beauty underscore by underscore Bridget underscore, on Twitter at Bridget B Beauty, and now on TikTok at beauty underscore by underscore Bridget. Today we're going to be doing yet another Halloween video, and this one is going to be about Halloween songs. One of my favorite parts of Halloween and October is Halloween music. And so today we're going to be doing three looks over three of my favorite Halloween songs. The three songs we're going to be doing today are The Great Pumpkin Waltz from It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, Love Potion Number no. 9, and my personal all-time favorite, One-Eyed, One-Horned, Flying Purple People Leader. It's going to be as extreme as it sounds. Up first, we're going to be doing The Great Pumpkin Waltz, one of the ones that's really special to me because I love Charlie Brown in all seasons, but especially the Halloween one because their costumes are just so cute. We're gonna try and keep these first two looks pretty simple so that you guys could recreate them if you wanted because the third one's gonna be a little bit crazy and over the top, which is what I like. Let's get started. As always, we're gonna start by applying a wash of color that's close to my skin tone to help with blending later. Next, I'll be going in with a light orange shade in my crease and outer V to give some depth. I decided to go with an orange and yellow look because the great pumpkin and Charlie Brown wears a yellow shirt. With brighter colors like this, it's easier if you stamp on the color and then blend it out so that you get as much color payoff as you can. Next, we're gonna go in with a little bit more of a deeper orange color, kind of an orangey brown, to further deepen that crease. And now for our last eyeshadow step, we will be going in with a yellow shadow on the lid to do a semi-cut crease. So we're not gonna fully cut it, like use concealer and the whole nine, but we're gonna still do a definite color shift on our lid. If some of your shadow falls down onto your face, which is called fallout technically, you can easily get it off by just taking your powder brush and wiping it off. Some of that yellow fell down onto my nose. Now I'm going to blend that yellow and orange together a little bit and put our oranges on our lower lash line and then we'll be done with shadow. For this look I wanted to do something all matte because I know a lot of you guys might not like shimmer stuff so I decided I would leave this one all matte because I'm Pretty sure I'm gonna go full ham shimmer for our love potion number one. Hello viewers, this is a public service announcement. If you look very closely, this side of my nose is yellow. I need you to ignore that. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> Up next for this look, we're gonna start on some face paint. So on one side, I'm gonna be doing ghosts, clearly. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the great pumpkin himself. So I've already started on the ghost just so I could get a little bit more comfortable with what I was doing and get an idea of what was going on. So what I've done so far, face paint wise, is I've actually gone in with a liquid lipstick because that's just something I'm a little more comfortable with. And I've drawn two basic ghost shapes. Since they are cartoon ghosts worn by children, I figured I could do something pretty simple. So yeah, here are our basic ghost shapes. And now I'm gonna make them a little more detailed. And the ghost that represents Charlie Brown be a little bit more detailed than the other because his costume was a little bit different than the others and you'll see why. But um, while I'm doing another layer to make them more opaque ghosts, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I love It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin Waltz so much. The Charlie Brown movies hold a really special place in my heart because they're something that I could always count on my whole family watching together. Like we watched like Wheel of Fortune and NCIS anytime it came on, but we were always just kind of busy watching those. But when it came to Charlie Brown movies, that time was sacred. So things like The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and the Christmas one and the one that's at Thanksgiving were always just really special to me. And, um, I just love them so much. So when 
we came up with the idea to do a song theme for one of our Halloween videos, the first thing I thought of was the Great Pumpkin. So now I'm gonna go in with black face paint and do the eyes. Our little ghost is gonna have two eyes like a normal ghost. Well, I guess, I don't really know what a ghost looks like. I've never actually seen one. But the little one will have two eyes and Charlie Brown's will have two normal eyes and then some bonus eyes because Charlie Brown has a little bit of trouble with the scissors. I'm just taking the back of my makeup brush and doing these little spots. And we'll see how that goes. I'm learning along with you guys when it comes to face paint. So this will be exciting. Oh, I'm an artist. Oh. <laughs> Confidence. She two up. She's like, I'm ready. Confidence skyrockets <laughs> after putting I can face paint now. two spots on my face. Oh no, here goes the rest. No, I can't mess up. Yeah, no, now my confidence it. is too high. Okay, those are two normal eyes. Cool, 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 cool. We're good. We're doing good. Okay. More bonus, bonus eyes. Also, we can't use the music in this Halloween songs video, which kind of defeats the purpose. But, good news, we made a TikTok. We will be uploading TikToks using the songs, showing off these looks. So if you want to see the looks with the songs that they're inspired by, you can head on over to at beauty underscore by underscore Bridget on TikTok. Or you can view it on Reels on Instagram at my handle with all of the underscores. Okay, so off camera, I went in a little more detailed on the ghost because I just wanted them to stand out a little bit more and I didn't want to be like hunched over like in my mirror on camera. So now that our ghosties are done, we're gonna do... Um, I just wanna say that that just moved and nothing was there. So is there a ghost haunting this very video? There might be. I don't know how to explain what just happened. A ghost. <laughs> don't think I'm not gonna put a replay in this because that was spooky. There's not even any... I need to. I need you to know that there's the not even any air in this room that could have moved that because there's no fan and, the and there's are not in the room. What's going on? Is it still moving? So now that we know that we're not alone, we're gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna do our pumpkin. For that, I decided that since I'm not super comp confident with the face paint, I realized. Super comp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, since I'm not super confident with the face paint, I decided I was gonna go in with some orange shadow and then let our resident art expert, camera woman extraordinaire Bethany Darwin, come and do detailing stuff. And yeah, so let's get to pumpkin in. This technique that I'm doing now, using shadows and then tracing it, is the exact technique I use in our Scarecrow TikTok. Um, just thought I'd plug that because why not? Now that we have a rough idea of a pumpkin on my face, it is now the duty of Miss Bethany Darwin to uh, bring us home. <laughs> I thought this channel was Beauty by Bridget, but it's also Beauty by Bethany. For sure! None of this would be possible without her. If you guys didn't know, I'm an artist. <laughs> and is doing this thing called Arttober on her Instagram. And I'm gonna plug it because she won't. But Arttober is lit as heck and she posts a different art thing based on prompt every single day. And she jokes that it, today is my face, but there will be another post that is not my face. Frank just tried to jump up Frank. on a chair and <laughs> failed. Sorry. I'm doing thick black lines because um, it's based off of an actual, like literal newspaper comic, The Peanuts, which I love so much, of course, that's why we're doing this, but, um, so it's okay to do thicker black lines for this because it'll bring back memories of The Peanuts. Can't smile while I'm doing it, Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying not to smile. You're doing great. Don't do that either. Just do a straight face. The 
this isn't a bit. I'm just the worst. <laughs> I know it's not a bit. I know. Good. This is the face paint all complete. Now, for the look to be fully realized and all together, we're gonna do liner, lashes, and lips off camera, and then I will be back to show you guys the finished great pumpkin waltz look. It's another day. So our next look, <laughs> our next look is gonna be based on the song Love Potion number nine. I love this song and it's actually one of Miss Bethany Darwin's favorite Halloween songs. So we decided it would be fun to do and we're gonna do a pink smoky blown out eye and then a little graphic that represents love potion. So first I'm gonna take a light pink shade and brush it in my crease and basically all over my lid just to help with blending because this is gonna be a really pink look. So we don't really need a transition shade that matches my skin tone because it's just gonna be pink everywhere. I also have a pretty pink skin tone to begin with. So, uh, like I said, this was pink and uh, it's not really showing up, but I promise it will help. Now I'm gonna take a hot pink shade and put it in my crease and outer V so that I can define that a little bit. And then I will go in with an even deeper pink it's more of a magenta, just very focused in the crease and outer V to add a lot of depth. I'm now gonna take a little bit of concealer on a flat rounded brush and do a cut crease on my lid so that we have a good base to put a shimmer on top of. This will help make the shimmer stand out even more. I'm gonna do this step off camera because I have to be kind of close up to be able to get a good line and you guys will just see the top of my head, which isn't helpful. It should look roughly like this before you blend it. Next, I'm gonna take a pink shimmer and lay it anywhere that we put this concealer. And then after that, I will blend out the edges just a little bit to make it more cohesive. So I went on ahead and put the shimmer on this eye and blended it, and now I think I want to give it a little more impact, so I'm gonna use an actual glitter. I'm gonna be using a pressed glitter from Morphe, and I'm just gonna put that on with my finger because that's the easiest way to make it apply evenly. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm really positive today. <laughs> Now I'm gonna do the same colors that I put on my crease on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna do an inner corner highlight and the eyeshadow will be done. Only Nikki can truly light up our inner corner in the proper way. So now for the fun part. In the song Love Potion number nine, the guy drinks the love potion and then he ends up kissing a bunch of people, but before he can actually use it for its real purpose, which is falling in love, he accidentally kisses a cop and he breaks his love potion so he doesn't get to use it anymore. And so in my interpretation of this look, <laughs> he is very sad about this. He no longer has the potion. He has no hope of falling in love. And so he's crying. So I'm going to be painting a little teardrop and we're gonna write uh, number nine in it because it's the last drop of the potion leaving his body. I will be painting on a little teardrop with a little paintbrush and some pink liquid lipstick and then Miss Bethany's gonna come in and write number nine for me so that it is actually legible. I'm gonna do as much of this on camera as I can but because it's so detailed I might have to get up close on my camera. On, on my mirror. I might have to get up close on my mirror and then I will show you guys the steps 
when they are done. Now that I've got a lot of the detail done, I'm gonna fill in the rest of it just with the little applicator. Now that our teardrop is drawn and dried, Bethany's gonna come on and do a little bit of shading to give it more detail and write number nine. So now that our teardrop of potion is all done, I'm gonna go off camera and do liner, lashes, and lips, and we will move on to our third look. It is yet another day, and specifically it is Purple People Eater Day. That means I will be turning myself into none other than the one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. So the first thing that I'll need to do to become the purple people eater is to have a horn. So for the first time ever, I'm gonna be putting a prosthetic on my face. I've never done this before. I've watched a lot of glam and gore videos showing me how. So I really hope I do this right with what I could get at Spirit Halloween. But if this isn't really all that helpful, so sorry, we're learning together. So I've already painted my horn purple and now I'm just gonna start gluing it to my face. So what I'm doing is putting a layer of liquid latex on my forehead so that I have something to glue the, well, set the horn onto. And then I will build liquid latex over the top of that. So change of plans, I'm gonna lay down some spirit gum and then stick it on and then put liquid latex over it. Flam and Gore said, Mikey said, I gotta let this get tacky and it worked with the poison ivy look so we're gonna hope for the best. Oh yes. Is it sticking? We're making progress. I'm gonna go over it with another layer of spirit gum and then liquid latex and then we're moving on. And I'll just be careful. I'll tread lightly. I'm scared to move my head. It came further off. Spirit Halloween, I have a bone to pick with you. Hello, we are back and I have a horn. Do not ask whether it is hot glued to my face. So now we are going to paint me purple. And the issue we have found is that nowhere sells purple face paint. So uh, you may ask, well then Bridget, can't you just mix red and blue? That would have been smart, but did we think about it? Absolutely not. So what we are going to do instead of face paint is Cover my entire face in liquid lipstick, woo! Okay, let's get started. So uh, I got a medium purple color, a light purple color, and a dark purple color. So I can do like my face and then highlights and then contour. So we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna put it on, blend it out with a beauty blender that I don't really like. Listen, <laughs> the song One Eyed One Horn Flying Purple People Eater is my all time favorite Halloween song because my papa used to take us to school. My mom worked in the next town over and my dad had to be at work very early. What? It's going to for real stay. You're face. acting like it's a big deal that I'm putting lipstick all over my face. <laughs> I am a makeup artist. <laughs> How did you go? I'm a makeup artist. <laughs> anyway, so 
I Papa used to take us to school and he listened to this old radio station that I don't even know what it was called but they had a segment called the Tinkle Can and it was precious and they played old timey music and they played One Eye One Horn Fly and Purple People Eater and I used to sing it with my Papa. So it's my favorite Halloween song. So There's I had no to No way do. she was letting <laughs> this one go. Absolutely no freaking way. This is fine. We're fine. Am I putting this on my eyelids? Absolutely not. Oh, okay. Because they will be stained. I'm just gonna do eyeshadow on my eyelids. So now that I have a full purple foundation, I'm gonna go in with my concealer, aka a lighter purple color, and put this lighter color everywhere that I would normally put concealer. Because I may be a monster, but gosh dang it, I'm gonna be a glam one. And now I'm gonna go in with a darker purple color to contour. So now I'm going to go in with some powder, aka different purple eyeshadows to set this and to also just more starkly do what I've done with the liquids. This is the Purple People Eater base, all complete. And now I'm gonna go off camera and do my brows. So now I have my brows on. One of them doesn't look very good, but that's okay. And I will tell you why in a second. But first, we're gonna do some eyeshadow. I'm gonna do uh, just mid-tone purple color all over, and then I'll deepen it with a darker purple in the crease and outer V, and I'm gonna put a shimmer on the lid. Just a basic smoky eye, but purple. So now I'm gonna go off camera and do lashes, liner, and lips, and then we will be back to do some finishing touches. So this is the Purple People Eater look all completed. But like I said, we still have to deal with this eye. So I'm a one-eyed, one-horned flying Purple People Eater. So uh, I'm just gonna put on an eye patch. I thumbs up again. Fixed it. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go off camera and do some finishing touches and then you guys will finally get to see the glamour shots of all three looks. See you soon. fun and I'm so glad that they all turned out exactly the way I wanted. I really did not expect this one especially to turn out the way that it did but I'm very glad that it turned out pretty decent. I if you liked this video and if you like me and this type of content 
go on ahead and like this video. And also, while you're doing that, you might as well subscribe. And also, if you could leave a comment, that would be great. It really helps boost our engagement. And tell us what your favorite look was. And if you have any other ideas of some crazy things you want me to recreate, put that below. Well, that's all we have for this week. But don't worry, we have one more Halloween video coming your way next week. So I will see all of you beautiful people in the next one. This is what I look like after taking like seven makeup wipes and just scrubbing my face, like help.